All right, man. Should Detroit Lions be interested in Bobby Wagner? Bobby Wagner was released last night around what 9 a.m. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Long time uh middle linebacker for the Legion of Boom and the Seattle Seahawks after Legion of Boom moved on. Bobby Wagner is an absolute beast, but I think I Bobby Wagner, I'm not sure if he's looking for top dollar. Uh and at this point, I think he might be looking for top dollar. Uh, he might be looking to win. So uh, I'm not sure. So his last contract he signed was three years, full fifty-four million dollars, fifteen million. The signing bonus, eighteen million. Average he had twenty-four and a half at guaranteed signing. The total guarantee was forty million, forty point two million dollars. So yeah, he he probably looking for a place to to win and make that money. He's thirty-one years old, so this would kind of be his like. His last big contract, but check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and that subscribe button is the bell icon button. I just think the Lions are in a great position to get somebody younger. I mean, if they in the three four, then I don't know. If they in the three four, then they do need an extra linebacker, inside linebacker. But uh, I think if they're gonna be in a four man front, four three, bro, uh, get somebody younger, get the kid out of Wisconsin, get the guy out of Utah, whoever you feel comfortable, whoever you can get, and um. And let them flourish. But if you, you know, if you want to, you're gonna run a lot three. You're gonna run. You're gonna run a lot of the three four front. Um, then yeah, you can bring him in too. He can't do nothing but, but help the younger guys. You know what I'm saying? But he been in the predominantly four uh, four three. So I think that's kind of pretty much what he used to. But um, so I mean, like I said before, you know, I think he want to go somewhere to contender Denver. Uh, we still want to get his money too. That's the thing about it. You know what I'm saying? So he still want to get his paper, and that's the thing about it. I'm pretty sure 31 years old, still pretty much probably playing at a high level. He won his paper. Last year he had uh, he played 16 out of 17 games. He had one sack. He's inside linebacker. So he's not going to have a lot of sacks. You know, his sacks probably come on blitzes most of the time. He's more of a coverage guy. You know, still tackling at a high level. He had a career-high tackles last year, Set, uh, combined tackles at 70. So, you know, he never had 170 last year then. Uh, you know, Seattle talent ta talent riddle written uh, written in a lot of places. He had 93 solo tackles. That was a, a second career high after 97 in 2017. Still, I think he still made the Pro Bowl last year. So six time all pro. I think the pluses is for first team all pro. So so he's still balling. 77 assisted tackles. You know what I'm saying? That's a second second career high. You know what I'm saying? Tackles for loss, he had three. You know what I'm saying? Quarterback hits, he had three. He was all pro second team this year, pro bowl this year. So, yeah, he's still playing at a high level. He was all of fame, all 2010 team. He's a hall, going to be a Hall of Famer. So, he's still playing at a high level, still fairly young. You know, he's a West Coast guy. He's playing in the the, uh, the Northwest. So, so yeah, you know, make a lot of sense. He probably L.A., San Francisco. Yeah, they released you. They ain't even traded you. LA, San Francisco, excuse me. Go get your money. Probably gonna stay on the West Coast because you look at all the contenders. Um, Dallas. Dallas got the money to bring them in. You know, uh, him and Michael Parsons would be in the tackling Dutchman. They find a way to make that work. Uh, I think Dallas. I don't think he wanna go to Green Bay being a West Coast guy. I don't think Chicago neither being a West Coast guy. So I'm just thinking maybe. Atlanta kind of still on the rise. You know, Carolina, you know, they need a quarterback. He probably will out wait. Um, I don't know what the Rams cap looking like. San Francisco probably can make it happen, plug them right in there. That would be a dub for them. Arizona maybe can make it happen. They figure out was going with Kyler. Uh, Baltimore in the 3-4 front. He wants to stand a 4-3. So, really, Buffalo. Him and Edmonds can play together. They can figure that out. Uh, really, I'm thinking, like, probably Buffalo, Denver. Probably Denver. Probably somewhere like them. So, so yeah, but if he, he did come here, bro, I mean, it is what it is. You, you feel the you feel the need, you want to pay him. He'd probably be good for a few more years, elite level. But you're in a good position to find somebody young. Like, you put, put him at the weak or the strong side, the wheel, yeah, and then move, transition him inside. You could do that. But I just think they're in a the prime position, continue to be young. You got Derek, Dark, Derek Barnes back there, whatever his name is, be young. Get the kid out of Wisconsin, get the dude out of Utah to come in the middle, uh, and just figure it out. It's going to be a learning curve, so maybe do bring in a guy like Wagner and put somebody on the edge. But you know, you got the dome working for you. But I think for the most part, 
Um, AFC might be his uh, destiny or the Rams, but they don't really have the money. So AFC might be his destiny. Buffalo, Kansas City can make it work. Um, Denver can make it work. That might be, you know, maybe even going to Tennessee. You know, that might be able to work. But, yeah, we'd love to have them. You know what I'm saying? But I just think we also in the prime position to get somebody young in there and start the learning curve, you know, already get that out the way. But you can plug them in there three years, give them a good deal, and then plug some on the side of them. But, you know, I think I think they keep going with the youth movement. You do need some veterans, but the Wisconsin is high linebacker that tore it up at the combine. The Utah guy, they have a great combine, but he could play. You take both of them and figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Or take one of them, pair them with Jordan Davis or whatever it may be. But Wagner or Adam, I think he kind of want to win and get his money. But if you want to win the Wagner sweepstakes, um, if you want to win the Wagner sweepstakes, then it's going to have to boil down to uh, money. We're probably talking about $20 million a year, bro, somewhere in that area. So, uh, you know, uh, so it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, you know, we want to break the bank, break, but I just think we had a critical point right here. We young. I agree with Car- Carlos from the uh, – Carlos Mazzano, my, uh, Mazzano, how things fine. We need a quarterback to really boost this and get this going. You need to prepare to get the quarterback. Once you prepare to get the quarterback to get this going, then you can, then guys going to play with you. Then you're going to elevate. Get them ready next year behind golf. And then if golf take off next year, cool. You know, people willing to trade for golf this year. You know what I'm saying? Flip them. Or, if you know, Willis ain't that good. You showcase Willis, flip them. So, I said you can't lose with a quarterback. That's going to make people want to play. People already probably want to play for Dan Campbell, Aaron Glenn, which – we talked about him being on the verge of leaving, but um, then you don't have to break the bank for everybody. People come and play, so they got to show this organization turn around and winning and willing to spend to win. And uh, but yeah, it's only gonna start off when you get a quarterback. But they starting to build around Jared Goff, which they should have done last year, like I said. And um, apparently Robinson might be coming here. We got to wait and see and see if it works. But uh, uh, quite frankly, man, they're not gonna take a quarterback. We know they're not. They're going to sit here and. Uh, uh, they're going to try it again with golf, and then if it don't work, then they're going to panic, and then when they panic, and then, you know, they're going to throw somebody in there, damage him, he's going to be a revolving door. But with Wagner, you don't have to break the bank, but I think he want to spend. I think he want his money. He want to win. So I think somewhere like, I don't know what the cap space is looking like. We got to wait and see. But somebody probably like Denver, probably a place for him. But, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next to the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance notification. We go live or drop a video. Um, want to make a financial donation? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Appreciate the love and support. Check out Detroit Lions top playlist. Let me know what you think about bringing Wagner in.